Hey guys, Nigel here. That growl effect is super cool. It's something a lot of us struggle to get right though, but there's two ways that I do growling that are actually super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. Now the lesson today is actually from a Q&A session, which is something we do every month as a part of SAC School membership. And it's a really cool part of our learning actually. But if you want to find out more about SAC School and get involved with the huge library of lessons we've got in there, in fact there's thousands of people around the world using the lessons, from beginner players through to pro players, teachers using them, and it covers all sorts of things from getting started through to learning some advanced skills. Uh, you can find out more up here, I'll put a link up there for mcgillmusic.com. Go check it out, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Okay, so let's check out this lesson and find out about these two ways that you can do growling on your saxophone. There's two techniques that you can use for growling. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is Chris and Claire from my team who helped me on the Q&A sessions, and you'll see a lot of them inside Sax School as well. Right, let's get back to the lesson. So the first one, is really easy. It's where we're actually singing through uh, our, you know, we're singing through the mouthpiece basically. So I think it's always better to start, actually, maybe something like um, a high G is good for this because I don't know, it just seems to work better. So if you just play the high G, but if while I'm blowing, I'm also, ah, uh, I'm singing like this. Unless you're going, Ooh, in my lovely singing voice, <laughs> uh, then it makes the sound get that growl uh, timbre, right? <laughs> now, if you mix that in with a bit of emotion and a bit of energy and experiment with some different notes, you can get some great effects. So, <laughs> it's harder to do down low. <laughs> but it works much easier up high. So all I'm doing is singing. So that's the first technique. Hey, what's your favorite example of a great growl saxophone sound? Have you got a favorite track or an artist or a song or a solo? Let me know in a comment below, I'd love to know. The second technique is rolling your tongue. Now not everybody can do this and certain players use that in preference to the growling. For example, the, uh, the one step beyond the madness sound, that's very much um, a, a rolling of the tongue. So, I don't even, I can't remember what key it's in, but. Let's say it's in that key. So, what I'm doing there is I'm going, and I'm rolling my tongue. You've got to kind of move it a bit further back in your mouth, but it gives it that really raspy sound. Can you hear the air there with, without me blowing hard enough? Another good example of that is the Pink Panther thing. So again, really having the tongue back in your mouth but rolling your tongue. So, uh, so Martin, you can have a go at doing that, one of those two techniques. It's just about taking it in easy steps, start slowly, getting the, the singing without making the tone or the rolling of your tongue without making the tone and then gradually increase your air until you can get the sound out. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. Which of those two techniques do you use the most? Is it the growling with your voice or is it the rolling of your tongue? Let me know in a comment, I'd love to know. Also, there's some more videos for you to check out over here. Don't forget to go and check out SAC School. There's an amazing resource there to help you. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell icon so you get notified of my future videos. There's loads of stuff coming up that's gonna really help you. Keep practicing hard, I'll catch you next time.